Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I want to show you something very interesting, and this has to do with um, Read One software, Read One on Windows 10. And as you can see right now, I have the Task Manager up. For those of you who don't know how to get to the Task Manager, you just right-click, go to Task Manager, as you see it here, and then you'll get to this window. You'll get really to Processes window, and sometimes that is. Uh, Sometimes that is minimized as well, so you have to seek the um, you have to click on show more details, right? So when you show more details, you get the processes. Click on performance here, and what I noticed was I was seeing um, the disks um, for my read, which is disk zero and one read one. It's mirrored. Um, is at fifty percent and fifty six percent now because I've not been using the actual computer for doing anything at the moment you're not going to see any performance um, degradation but if you're running uh, you know certain software for example if you're running a VM for example on the drive um, I did notice that it was slow and I was trying to figure out well, why well apparently it's in use and so um, I, you know I, I wasn't really sure what was happening um, so I want to show you guys this interesting thing this is actually from Windows 10 this is what Windows 10 does in the background um, to create this software read. Um, so if you go to start and you click on, um, I type disk manage, disk management, but you see create and format hard disk partitions here. When you click on that, it's gonna get you to the disk manager management. All right, and as you can see, this is what's happening here. So I don't know if I could keep this on the same screen, uh, but basically what you're seeing here is me I created um, the read and this is what you're seeing here the D drive and it's disk 0 and 1 and it's saying resyncing and I noticed this happens quite a lot I mean this doesn't just happen some people were saying that this happens um, you know when you shut down your computer badly or something like that but on a, it, it seems uh, a bit unfortunate in a way that this happens ever so often and this actually affects um, the performance quite quite a bit as you could see let's go back here to the what's happening here it's actually reading it's telling it's saying that the drive is reading at 140 60 well okay megabytes per second and then this drive is writing at a hundred and uh, you know something megabytes per second so obviously you're gonna have an issue of performance degradation to some degree and these are mechanical drives so they are slower so you will see the effect of this happening quite often it could however be that this is happening because these drives are quite old uh, one of my drives is like four years old the other is five and so maybe they're having you know some sort of uh, glitches in how they write and so um, they are falling out of sync but this is kind of what happens in the background now it's quite similar to when you have when you use the BIOS to do uh, read one mirroring, because with the when read with with the BIOS, what happens is it happens in the background, as opposed to you know if you do it in Windows, you actually are able to see what's happening in the in the foreground. So it's read one works the same way. It's basically when you have one uh, when you when you write to one disk, it's going to copy it to the other disk and keep both of them in sync in case something happens. And um, I just thought it was interesting for you to know this because as gamers, for example, if you have these mechanical discs, not that many gamers do, but if you do have mechanical discs, um, you're going to see that your games may run a bit slow and you may be wondering why. Well, if this happens while you are resyncing your data, um, I had to make this video right away because this is, of course, going to disappear. Um, as you know, it, I don't know when it will disappear, it will stop resyncing. So I said, let me make this video and, and you know, give you guys an idea of when you're choosing, at least be aware of when you're choosing, you know, um, the mirroring option in in uh, Windows 10 or even Windows 7, Windows 8, etc. I'm sure they have the same similar options that you be aware of this. I don't think it's an absolute um, deal breaker if you want your data to be accessible this might actually be the the better way and this is why i implemented it prior to this raid one setup what i had was a bios read one setup that's on the motherboard side of things and what happened is when i lost my motherboard i wasn't able to re uh, i wasn't able to load back the disk data without having a similar motherboard and that just simply does not make any sense um 
for an average user that doesn't have the same type of motherboard. So with that being said, um, just keep that, on, uh, keep that in perspective. And of course, use the task manager many of the times to see where your performance uh, might be uh, degraded because um, you, you may be surprised. You might think, oh, the computer's running slow, but it's actually the disks that are being used, etc. And hence the reason Windows actually boots quite faster when you use an SSD um, disk because it's not actually the CPU that's going to be in, uh, in use, but rather the disk um, data being pulled as well too. So guys, thank you so much for viewing this video. I know that this might be a lot, but it's pretty much an idea of uh, mirror the, the what, what you should look out for when you have RAID 1 or mirroring enabled in Windows 10. So uh, with that being said, if you have any questions, please hit me down in the comments below. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon on another episode of RTHD. Come into YouTube screen. Now you. Take care. Bye-bye.